T Ski. What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy T. And today, I got a Jimmy High Roller video for y'all. It's a, it's a Team USA video. So drop a like, subscribe, cause you know he got fire videos every single time he don't miss. You feel me? Y'all see the title? I don't even know what I'm going to title it yet. But y'all see the title. You feel me? That's why you clicked on the video. So we're going to get straight into it, man. I ain't really with all that talk. And I ain't got really nothing to, nothing to say. It's say. They said they was the greatest team of all time. You feel me? I want to see what they talking about. Because y'all know. Y'all know we respect the OGs. We not done with the 80s. We not done with the 90s. You feel me? So what team is they greater than? That's, what, that's my question here. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm ask the question early, but let's let's get it to it. See what he talking. Because who is they? And why did they say? Check this out. It? You feel you me? You see that score? USA you versus Germany. Germany is up 82 to 81 with four right. minutes left in the fourth quarter. The game right. should have never been this close, but it is. In fact, it's been a close contest since the opening tip. Both teams right. going bucket for bucket. Neither of them really able to pull away. Hey. Someone is going to have to step up and take control of this game if they want to win. And of all the players on this court, of all the talent, the greatest shooter of all time, a former MVP, the future right. of USA basketball, it right. is none other than old reliable 39-year-old <laughs> LeBron James who completely <laughs> takes over this game. <laughs> you thought it was going to be somebody different? You thought it was going to be somebody different? <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron every time. Every time. They need KD to come back, bro. He's the best player. He, you know what I mean? This game. Lays. 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 Give me that. Big body. Give me that. Let's get to it. Yeah. Free throws. Free throws. Look at this. This is all in a row. Give me that board. It's all in a row. It's every possession. Look at this bench reaction. He doing something every possession. Uh, Trey Ball, need him all. Yeah. James what are you talking about? He's a man. Big body. Take over? Big body. <laughs> Big body. Big body. Right yeah. With the game on the line Big body. and four minutes left in the fourth, LeBron turned back the clock and completely put Team USA on his back, scoring wow. their final 11 <laughs> points and single handedly <laughs> outscoring Germany. The young bucks are loving it. These performances should have came to an end Brown, like, years six, ago. Hoop, fuck and yet here we are, let me do it. 22 years in, and the old geezer still got it. Like, let me but, do it. Wait a minute. This is the best basketball team on the planet. Some have even called this roster the best team of all time. But if that's the case, then why out of all See? of these- See, this is where they blow me at. <laughs> Better than the dream team? So, hey. If you ain't gonna see the Dream Team video, go watch it. <laughs> because who said that they was better than the Dream Team? All right, let's go. Let's go match up for match up. Let's go match up for match up right now. We gonna do it. Get down in the comments and tell me who wins what match up. Okay. We gonna go with the uh with the most recent star lineup because Steve Kerr like to change the lineup. Okay. So we got uh Steph Curry, Magic Johnson. Go either way. You know what I mean? Y'all can say either one. It can go either way. Uh, Michael Jordan, Devin Booker. Okay. We don't gotta we don't gotta we don't have to talk about it. We know. We know who wins that. Um Scotty LeBron. We know who wins that. You know what I mean? We know, we know. Okay. So, depending on how you feel about basketball, it might be 2-1 dream, 2-1 team. You know what I mean? Team USA. Current Team USA, okay? The four. Who's the four? Nah. Yeah, it is. Okay. But we're gonna we gonna have to go, like, Drew Holiday. Uh, fuck. Who's the four? Moses. I mean, Carl Malone? Was it Malone? Or is it Barkley? Uh, We're going to say Barkley because he led the team in scoring. Okay? Barkley or Drew Holiday? Charles Barkley. Don't say Drew Holiday. Don't, 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 don't do that, bro. Please don't do that. Please don't. And the centers. Um, David Robinson, Embiid. 
Give me David Robinson. If you don't know David Robinson, go do your research. He will dog and be. <laughs> do your research, bro. Stop playing with the dream team. These players, does it take a 39-year-old LeBron going ballistic in the final minutes to win a game by single digits? Their previous game against South Sudan was a similar story, with a go-ahead basket by LeBron being the only thing separating the U.S. from a loss. A couple months back, when this team was first announced, they were immediately hailed as one of, if not the greatest team ever assembled. However, through five exhibition games, three- Hey, I bet y'all didn't know that. I just dropped a fun fact on you, by the way. Charles Barkley led the dream team in re uh, rebounding and scoring. It wasn't Michael Jordan. Three of which were won by six I'm points or less, the title of greatest team ever seems to have been given out a bit prematurely. Is this team truly the best team we've ever seen? On paper, they have all the credentials to fit the bill, but no. on the court, they aren't nearly as dominant as some teams from the past. They not even better than that team with Kobe and D-Wade. Today, I've teamed up with DraftKings, the one-stop shop for all things fantasy sports, to bring you the largest best ball tournament in DraftKings history. Best ball is easy to play. Draft your team in a snake-style draft. Like, There's no roster management. Like, with Col the team with Kobe, D-Wade, Melo, and LeBron. That team is better than this Team USA right now. Damn line. Only like on DraftKings. What are we talking about? Last summer, after a fourth place finish in the FIBA yeah, Basketball KD2? World Cup, reports surfaced that LeBron James was recruiting players from around the league to suit up for the U.S. men's national team for the 2024 Olympics. Legia. Reaching out to teammates, friends, foes, all to better their odds of defeating a common enemy everyone else and although fun to imagine the team he was attempting to put together seemed like a classic case of too good to be true except it actually happened a 12-man roster that some are saying is the greatest basketball team of all time lebron durant curry y'all think Embiid, Brian, uh, Tatum, really like ad got the whole Booker, team together Kawhi, who has since been replaced by like Derek white edwards halliburton holiday and bam one of the most loaded teams in the history of basketball. And yet, five exhibition games into this year's Summer Olympics, and this team has just barely escaped with a win on multiple occasions. A Nowhere win near some of the colossal blowouts we have seen Team USA put down in the past. Which begs the question, is this actually the greatest team of all time? Greater than the 1992 Dream Team? A group of players that won games by a record-shattering margin and took basketball to... <laughs> I forgot about Larry Bird. <laughs> my, my bad. My bad. Take Charles Barkley out, put Larry Bird. It doesn't matter. We fucking wipe y'all anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you add Bird, it only gets worse. Even though he was an old man during that, we we're putting Larry Bird. Fuck is you talking about? Even if he didn't start, because his back hurt it, his body hurt, it don't matter. It's Larry F Joe Bird. Are you fucking silly? <laughs> this guy. To a global scale, are they greater than the Redeem team or even the U.S. Olympic team in 2012 led by Kobe and a prime LeBron and Durant? No. Well, it all depends on how you want to define greatness. Are we talking about a team with the best collection of talent? Yes. Or is greatness defined by how good they are as a no. collective unit? Man, no. since the 2024 too, U.S. Men's Olympic much. team has yet to play a single non-exhibition game together, I assume we are referring to option number one. In terms of major career accomplishments, such as MVPs, championships, all they NBA teams, day. the key milestones that we use to measure how great individual players are, here is how the 2024 U.S. Men's Olympic roster stacks up against some of the greatest teams of the past. Now, it's important to note that I only took into consideration the accolades these players earned rings, leading up to MVPs, the time of the Olympics. So, for example, MVPs. although Michael Jordan won six titles in five Wait, to no, the time of this, the Olympics. We need to see this. We need to see this. This is this is big right here. This is big right here. So the Dream Team had 12 chips, seven finals MVPs, nine MVPs, POYs, 61 All-NBA, 18 All-Defense. Now 2024 team got more rings, less MVPs, less DPOYs, less All-NBA, and more All-Defense. Okay. All right. 2012. Y'all, y'all, yeah, these niggas in the middle don't stand no chance. You feel me? 
Olympics. So, for example, although Michael Jordan won six titles and five MVPs by the end of his career, I only included the two titles and three MVPs he won heading into the 92 Olympics. This is only fair since players on the 2024 roster have yet to finish their careers and still have time to pile up more accolades. So this is a snapshot of how accomplished these teams were at the time of their formation. And when ranked against the most accomplished teams, you could make an argument that this 2024 team is the greatest of all time, just slightly edging out the U.S. men's team in 1992 and in 96. Could, Oddly enough, that. the 96 U.S. men's Olympic team was more sure. accomplished at the time of their formation than the 92 Dream Team was. But overall, this year's team is arguably the greatest team in terms of their basketball resumes. But that might be due to the fact that this year's U.S. Olympic team is oh. old. By the 92 Olympics, Larry Bird had already played his last NBA season. His back was completely toast, and he was the oldest player on the team by a considerable margin. He was 35, which means right now, Stephen Curry is older than Bird was during the 92 Olympics. In fact, Devin Booker has already been in the league longer than most of the players on that 1992 Dream Team. So although this 2024 team has the advantage of experience and longevity, the team in 92 got many of their players during the peak of their careers. So what if instead of accolades and accomplishments, we looked at how good these players were individually at the time of the team's formation? Here is a chart of the 2024 U.S. Men's Olympic basketball roster and Let's their look production at that. I like that. and efficiency from I like this that. past season. With box right. plus minus on the y-axis and win shares per 48 on Why the x-axis. So now, a few things jump out here. Tyrese Halliburton has been considered one of the weaker links on this roster, but he was actually one of the better players on this team throughout the regular season. LeBron James is really old and still really good, and Joel Embiid's spot is a quick reminder that if it weren't for a season-ending injury this past year, the man might be a back-to-back -back MVP right now. <laughs> and now, for some context, here is the 2012 U.S. Olympic team and their advanced numbers in the season leading up to the Olympics. LeBron was the best player on this team, followed by Chris Paul and Kevin Durant. They also had a veteran Kobe Bryant and Olympic Mello. And statistically, you can make an argument that the individual players on this team were better than the players on the 2024 team. The 2008 Redeem team was relatively right. young and inexperienced in the international realm, with LeBron James leading the way coming off of his fifth season in the league, a young Chris Paul entering Chris his Paul prime, and MVP Kobe Bryant. But overall, this team probably wasn't as good as the U.S. roster this year. 1996, however, is one of the more underrated teams ever assembled, with a ton of 90s greats like Pippen, Gary Payton, Reggie Miller, and of course, the greatest front court lineup the world has ever seen. Featuring David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, and Carl Malone. This team was experienced. They were all still in their... Now, I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say this, and I'm going to, you know what I mean? And I want y'all to hear me. If Akeem Olajuwon played on the Dream Team, man, you niggas might be fucked. Because <laughs> he's different, bro. He is. Let's be honest, bro. Akeem is different. Like a better version of AD. Like, y'all lucky, bro. I don't know why he ain't get on their prime. And as a whole, but they lucky. were better than this year's team. Which leads us to the 1992 Dream Team, who are still on a completely different level from any other team before and since their inception. Because here's Michael Jordan, here's David Robinson, Magic Johnson, Drexler, Stockton, Barkley, and the rest of the team. Oh my goodness. And now we have a better picture of just how good this 92 Dream Team was. The 1992 U.S. Men's Olympic Team was so good that Anthony Edwards in 2024 was statistically worse than every single player on the 92 Dream Team outside of Christian Leitner, who hadn't even played a single minute in the NBA up to that point. Now, you may be thinking that the stats that's, of that's the players spooky. in 1992 that's might spooky. just be inflated or possibly a miscalculation. How was there so many all-time great players at their peak in the NBA in 92? And where are all of these players today? Well, they're playing for other countries. Because here's Nikola Jokic, here's Luka Doncic, here's Giannis, and here's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. 
So in terms of individual dominance, the 92 Jay. Dream Team would be like having this 2024 roster without some of their relatively weaker links and the addition of Luka, Jokic, Giannis, and SGA. That right. is how good the Dream Team was. And I don't see? know if we will ever see one. You know what he basically saying? The best players in the NBA today are foreign. And that is a fact. The whole top five. We got Yo Embiid, Giannis, Luca, Shea. Top five, not USA. Say Shea not in the top five so I could go tackle your grandma, bro. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing with Shea, bro. One single team as good as this 1992 US men's Olympic team was ever again. In 1992, basketball was a sport dominated almost exclusively by American players. The NBA, and by default the entire world, revolved around players from the U.S. There was, of course, exceptions to this. Among the elite foreign players of the early 90s were Nigerian-born Hakeem Olajuwon, who ended up playing for Team USA, Patrick Ewing from Jamaica, who also ended up playing for Team USA, Detlef Schrempf from Germany, and Croatian legend Drazan Petrovic. But that was about it. The NBA had yet to really pursue basketball on a global scale. The two international teams that were eventually added to the league wouldn't make their debut until 1995. 95% of all NBA the prospects Grizzlies? were American born or attending US universities. But as Steve Kerr said after Team USA's loss in last year's FIBA World Cup, this isn't 1992 anymore. Over the last 32 years, the number of foreign-born NBA players has skyrocketed from 21 foreign-born players, just 5% of all active players in the league in 1992, to 125 foreign-born players throughout the league in 2024, for sure. representing nearly a quarter of all active players. Today, when players join international competition, more often than not, they're just playing their NBA teammates in these tournaments. It's a bunch of NBA guys, versus a bunch of NBA guys. The 92 Dream Team was right. and still is the greatest team ever assembled because they were a collection of the best basketball players, not just in the US, but in the entire world at the time. Outside Facts. of Hakeem, who was arguably not as good as Ewing or Robinson in 1992, and Isaiah Thomas, who was unjustly snubbed from this team, they couldn't have gotten any better. Now, in the case of okay. this 2024 This is what we team, wanted to do. Let's go matchup for matchup. Matchup for matchup. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. We're going player for player, not even position. Let's do it. Okay, we got Bron. I mean, you got Jordan and Bron. You got Jordan and Bron. Who you got? Who y'all take? Who you got? Who you got? 1992-2024. What we doing? Michael Jordan. Say it if you... Say Brown if you want to, nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga say Brown if you want to, nigga. Uh, Magic and Curry. <sighs> 1992, 2024. I, okay. Y'all can have Curry. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's do Barkley and Tatum. I got Barkley every day of the week. David Robinson and Beat. I got David Robinson every day of the week. Larry Bird, old Larry Bird, or, or KD. This KD is better. But it's because Larry back hurt, though. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. We got um Malone, AD. Malone. Uh, Drexler and Drexler. Say, he, bro, come on, come on, come on. The type of season Drexler was having, we can go to the stats, bro. Don't get in here arguing with me. I'm not playing with you. Drexler was better. John Stockton or Halliburton? Stockton, stop. It's Pippen or Dare or Bald Eagle? Pippen, nigga. Chris Mullins or Booker? Now, I don't really know too much about Chris Mullins. So we're going to give it to Booker, I guess. Ewing or Bam Ewing every day was he's better than Bam. Drew Holiday or Christian Leitner, you can have Drew Holiday because Christian Leitner. I don't like that they put a college player on there. Team. So they win. Hold on, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to eight out of one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight. Eight out of 12 Dream Team wins, eight to 12. They're great, but they aren't nearly the best possible iteration of what the greatest collection of talent in the entire world would look like today.
So not but only Brown was the Dream Jaylen Team the greatest snubbed. collection of talent in the history of basketball, nearly all of it's the players on the Dream though. Team were at the peak of their powers, but they were also eviscerating teams. More Jeez. legendary than this 92 roster and the dominance of their individual players, the Dream Team was crushing their opponents. In game one of group play, the Dream Team scored 116 points while holding their opponent to just 48. In the semifinals, oh the Dream Team beat a That's really defense. good Lithuania team by 51 points. If you want to know just how outmatched these countries were, look no further than the guy who just threw in the towel and just started snapping pictures of the Dream Team <laughs> while the game was still going on. <laughs> and in the game. gold medal game gotta, against a loaded Croatia team <laughs> featuring six NBA players, the Dream Team won by 33 points. Look at this play right here. Gold medal game. The pride of an entire country on the line. Barkley hits Leitner for a three and calls it good before he even puts up the shot. These games were never close. In fact, this team wasn't even fair. During the 92 Olympics, the Dream Team had an average margin of victory of nearly 44 points. Oh my The largest goodness. margin of victory of any men's team at any professional level. And twice the margin Team USA put up in the 2016 and 2020 Olympics. Their average margin of victory this summer has been just 10 points. Granted, they are still making tweaks to their lineups and experimenting with different game plans, so this number will likely change over the course of the Olympics. But through five exhibition games, they aren't winning in nearly the same blowout fashion we saw in the past. Well, nah, it's not and this level of dominance that we saw from the Dream Team, the USA men's team in 96, 2008, and even 2012, will more than likely never happen again. In 1992, excluding the U.S. team, the 11 teams that played in the Olympic basketball tournament featured 18 players that were active in the NBA or were in the NBA at one point in their career. Right. In this year's Summer Olympics, the 11 countries outside of the U.S. that are playing in the tournament feature 68 active or former NBA players. Now, this is an oversimplified way of looking at the caliber of these teams, because as we've seen before, having the most... See now, see now. With that, 61, four, that, that is a lot, bro. You know what I mean? The world is catching up. But at the same time, bro, it's only a few guys that's like, that's better. Like, you know what I mean? Unless you're playing Jokic, Shea, Luka's not in, Giannis, that's about it. Other than that, them guys y'all playing, y'all not, like Dennis Struder on Germany, that's the best player. Like, come on. Y'all can't, come on, Schroeder. You feel me? I mean, France got Wimby, but he's not better than y'all. Not yet. You know what I mean? They got, they got league players, but them, y'all know them already. You know what I mean? You know how they get. Most NBA talent on your roster you does not guarantee so success, hear but NBA it does show talent. just how much the that. world has caught up with the U.S. in basketball. The once massive chasm that separated USA basketball from the rest of the world has been shrinking for over the last decade or so and is now at a point where many countries can truly contend for a gold medal. As it stands, this 2024 U.S. men's roster may be the greatest team ever assembled in terms of their accomplishments and their legacies and resumes. But when it comes to the sheer dominance they have on the court together and how good each individual player was at the time of the team's formation, the Dream Team is still the best team in the history of basketball. And with the leaps and bounds foreign players continue to make, I don't think we will ever see one single team reach this level of dominance ever we again. Won't. A team that still remains the gold standard. It won't happen again. It won't happen again. It won't happen again. I'm going to tell you all that now. You feel me? It won't ever be this dominant ever again unless we get a load of NBA players from the U.S. That's all nasty. <laughs> that's the only way. And they probably still won't dominate. Cause them, them guys overseas, they play, they play together all the time in the summer. It's not just a Team USA thing. They go back to their country and they play with them. So they got chemistry off off jump. You feel me? They already know them guys. Them they guys. You feel you feel me? But with that being said, Dream Team is better. But if you like the video, drop a like. Subscribe. Come back tomorrow. I'll see y'all tomorrow. You feel me? We ain't miss no days. And then we'll be doing some FIBA this uh 
I got y'all on Monday. I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna, I'm finna, you know what I mean? I got something to do this weekend. My fault, though. But I ain't gonna miss no days, though. With that being said, my dogs, I'm out. Peace.